Barry saying there's no confirmation about a Van Halen tour. He's sort of reiterating what he said to Eddie Trunk. He says, Mikey is my dearest friend in the world, and if there was an opportunity for him to go play with Van Halen again, just to mend that up, just to keep that sour note from being in his head for the rest of his life, he has my blessings. I can tell you that straight up, right now, there has been nothing confirmed. I ain't going to say it is or isn't because it's not my place. I love how he talks about it for 10 minutes and then says it's not his place, which is hysterical. <laughs> and then Sammy. really, like, it's, I mean, aside from Mikey, yeah. like he knows anything. I know. Like he has any insider information to what's going on. Yeah. You know, he's like a guy playing poker who is pretending he's got a royal flush in his hand. It's, like, so strange. <laughs> yes, it's yes. Just, he's yes, like, yes, all right, Sam, yes. all right, look. look right, you know, right. Come on. You know what we should say to Sam? Right now, buddy. Right now. <laughs> right now, Sammy is bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's releasing music yes. and he's touring. Yes, so. yes. No, right, so. no, I love Sammy. I think he's a character. I mean, look, like you always say, like, he always loves to uh, kick the Van Halen dust when he's doing a little... Uh, promotion for his own stuff you know and just, oh like, sure absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean look they'll always ask him about it so yeah. oh, that's yeah. part of the equation it's impossible but he did <laughs> right but he definitely has no problem talking about it either absolutely absolutely next up as a mr big update it's uh it might look like the band might be completely done although i don't believe it so it seems here that mr big might be uh finito following the death of drummer Pat Torpy. According to Billy, it says, it just ain't the same without him. I don't want to be one of those bands where you lose somebody, then you replace them, then you replace somebody else, and pretty soon the only thing original left is the logo. And just, <laughs> I, I don't I don't feel right doing it, and right now uh, Mr. Big is on ice. I don't know if I fully believe that because I'm... You know, they already have a replacement drummer, to be honest with you. I mean, I saw them, the last time I saw them, which was at BB King's, which is actually no longer a venue, they were unbelievable. They were phenomenal, and they had this replacement drummer, and Pat came out and did a few songs. But I don't know. Uh, obviously, that's uh, surprising. But, uh, you know, we'll see if the offers come in for Mr. Big and to go out on a tour or play a few festivals if they, they do it or not. I'm not sure. What, what do you think of that, Dave? I think they just need some time. Yeah, probably. I think it's still it's still fresh. Still very fresh, yeah. And like you said, they've I mean they had another drummer. They've had another guitarist. I know. So I know, it's yeah. not the first time yeah, yeah. that they've had people come and go in and out of the band. Right. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Maybe Japan will call them back yeah. and they'll do some shows I there. I think or that'll something happen. Like that. I think that'll happen. Because Paul Gilbert with Eric Martin and Billy is just, it's fa fantastic chemistry. He also mentioned in the same interview about the Edeman Smile reunion when they uh, got together at NAM and they jammed Steve Vai, Greg Bissonette, and himself, and they had Jeff Scott Soto on vocals. He said that they did get in touch with Dave to join them. And he says, we did get in touch with Dave. Unfortunately, he was in New York, and he sent a positive vibe that maybe someday. Maybe someday if Van Halen doesn't happen, I guess. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I, that's uh, that. You know what? I've just come to the conclusion that's just not on Dave's radar. Uh, it's yeah. just not something he wants to do. Yeah, maybe, maybe. There's also a little Van Halen biopic talk. Uh, there was some fan on the, uh, on social media saying, "I didn't even bother watching Bohemian Rhapsody. It boggles the mind how they haven't done a movie about Van Halen." Believe it or not, Michael Anthony came out of the woodwork and responded to this. He said, "VH." Question mark, too much drama, exclamation point. So, but there is a little more on that later So, in, 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 the, uh, in the podcast, and you'll hear more about that later. Dave, what do you think? Do you think there'll ever be a Van Halen biopic? I don't think there's too much drama for a biopic. I think there's more than enough. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think the drama will be actually uh, getting everybody behind it to agree to it and do it. Right, right, right. That's right, and also getting the perspective because uh, you know I'm sure they're all going to disagree as to what happened. Actually, you'll you'll never get a band sanctioned biopic. Oh yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
And the last item on the Van Halen news segment is Sammy again. Sammy Hagar appears on the Don Felder song Rock You, which popped up recently on uh, YouTube and also on iTunes. The song comes from his upcoming new album. The song is fine. It's a little bit generic. Sammy doesn't come into the second verse. I think he really should have let Sammy sing the whole song. The music is good. The lyrics are a bit simplistic, and the melody is kind of vanilla. But what do you think, Dave? I agree. It was it was a vanilla song. Wasn't bad. Wasn't knocked out of the park. Sammy did a decent job singing it. But I heard it once. I don't need to hear it again. Absolutely. And that wraps up Van Halen news for this month. And that's the way it is. Good night. And we are on to another massive mailbag. You guys are riding in by the boatload, so we're going to get into that. Then we also are going to have an interview with Christian Gehring, the actor playing David Lee Roth in the new Motley Crue biopic, The Dirt, now playing on Netflix. We talked to Christian all about his time playing David Lee Roth and how he got the job and the entire adventure, what it's like being Diamond Dave. And that's all coming up next. Take a listen. Thank you, buddy. How do you do, all of you out there in video land? My name's Dave, but you can call me Dave. Yes, indeed. Hopping and bopping and popping with the best bet for the top of the pop smash. Gold at the boss beat with the timely tunes for those with the textured taste. Shut up, baby. No time to waste. The event you've been waiting for. The return of. Van Halen Sit down, Waldo. Celebrating the third anniversary of the Dave and Dave Van Halen Podcast. Have you seen Junior's Graves? Featuring the ultimate Van Halen tribute band, Romeo Delight. Uh, I can barely see the road from the heat coming on. Us. Playing all the David Lee Roth era hits and some deep album cuts. Saturday, June 8th at 8 p.m. at Daryl's House, 130 Route 22 in Pauling, New York. I like the way the line runs up the back of those stockings. Celebrate with Dave and Dave, who will be podcasting live, offering free Van Halen giveaways, raffles, and prizes. One break, coming up! Tickets are $20. Saturday, June 8th at 8 p.m. at Daryl's house in Pauling, New York. Be there. Hey, bud. Let's party. If you need a dose of VH, get a taste of the closest thing. Romeo Delight, the ultimate Van Halen tribute band. Playing all the hits from the David Lee Roth era. First classic six albums plus deep cuts some of which have never been played live before by the band. They even throw in popular tracks from the Sammy Hagar era and solo hits. The most viewed Van Halen tribute band on YouTube, Romeo Delight, doing customized recreations of staging instruments and costumes from the classic Van Halen era. They even perform entire Van Halen albums in sequence. Romeo Delight plays theaters, casinos, summer indoor and outdoor festivals, and special events. They're also available for private parties. To contact them, call Bud Blanche at 215-704-5144. That's 215-704-5144. Or via email at sonicparade1 at yahoo.com. Romeo Delight, the ultimate Van Halen tribute band. My name is Noel Monk. I'm the former manager of Van Halen from 78 to 85. You guys are lucky to be listening to Dave and Dave Unchained. Need a laugh? Check out the Funny How Comedy Podcast, which focuses on upbeat conversations with legendary comedians. It's free on Spreaker and iTunes. Check us out on Facebook at Funny How Comedy Podcast, on Twitter at Funny How Podcast, on Instagram at Funny How Comedy Podcast, or email us at Funny How Comedy Podcast at gmail.com. Hi, I'm Jackie Martling. My brand new autobiography, The Joke Man, Bowder Stern, is being released. Go to JackieTheJokeMan.com. Great holiday gifts. Easy to wrap. I guarantee you are going to love this book. (laughs) 
where do, where does Van Halen come from? Where do I come from? And it's like when I was born, I looked exactly the same, buddy. You know, I had the sunglasses. Everything. The only difference was I needed a shave. And when I jumped off the table, tipped the nurse a quarter and said, which way is Times Square, baby? My parents were frantic, but I called them up in a couple months and told them it's cool. I got a job. I'm singing in a band. <laughs> All right, Dave, you know what time it is. It's time for the mailbag. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I was like, is that the country version? Uh, <laughs> somebody get me auto-tuned. You know, it's time for the mailbag. Oh, my oh, hysterical. Man. Oh, that goes down in history now. That's right. It's mailbag time again. And we have a boatload of mailbag to get through, so we're going to start out with Matthew Fowler. And he says, thanks again for the awesome podcast and for pointing me in the right direction regarding the straitjacket photo from a few months back. I wanted to ask you guys, might we see Live Without a Net, the band's 1986 concert video released on Blu-ray? The DVD version came out in 2004 in conjunction with the Sammy reunion and tour. But no Blu-ray has been released thus far. What would it take to get this released? Well, Matthew, I hate to say it, but it doesn't seem likely because the band wants nothing to do with the whole Sam era. Plus, they are horrible at catalog stuff. What would it take? Probably another reunion with Sam. Or if Warner Brothers sells off the rights to another catalog company and they decide to do a box set with a CD and everything and it'll appear like a Blu-ray with a double disc CD. But a lot of people are steering away from product now. So I don't know. A lot of these great VHS releases from the 80s and 90s are lost because they're not on streaming services and they they haven't been transferred to Blu-ray, and they're just sort of floating out there, and you could most likely catch it on YouTube. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I don't think anything like that's coming out soon, which is a real shame because that is one of their best live shows they ever released. I would love to see that out on Blu-ray. Yeah, absolutely, especially with like a double-disc full album on that. That would have been fantastic. Oh, yeah. But you're right. As the clock ticks, that kind of stuff is not being put out no. nearly as much anymore. No. no there's so I mean, much that's lost out there. All of that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. For whole, I mean, we could do a whole podcast on just like what is lost out there from all artists oh, yeah. of stuff that's been released on VHS, right. DVD, mm-hmm. and that is just lost to time. It is. It's, it's yeah. scary. It is. I mean, if it wasn't for YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I mean, so uh, I would just love, even if they cleaned it up and, and did Blu-ray quality and, like you said, streamed it, that would totally be the way to go. But, you know, I don't see anything on these streaming services with that. You know, you know what might be a good idea is to have a music streaming service, not for music, but like a channel that has almost like, like a VH1 streaming service that would have like concerts and videos and like everything from bands that would be cool if you had a channel where you could get like uh, documentaries and concert films and videos and behind the scenes stuff and you know you click on like motley crew and there's like all of motley Crue's video catalog and click on van halen and all of van halen you want to see watch all the van halen videos or watch all their you know home releases and I don't know. That would be a cool thing, but who knows? That would be a cool yeah, thing. That would be amazing. But getting the clearing the rights to all that's got to be a nightmare. Well, um, Netflix does it. I mean, I mean, someone's got to be able to have some sort of framework to work within. That's true. You that's know? true. So, all right. Well, Dave, you know what? That will be our next venture. Yeah, that would be great. That would be. I think that would be. <laughs> that imagine like ha- I, this is why I have to say, and I've said it before, but I'll just repeat it real quick. It really disappoints me that they haven't kept up with MTV and VH1. I don't understand why MTV exists and it has nothing to do with music. Because the the medium and the venue to watch music is not a cable channel. It's watching it. I mean, you and I always say watching it on YouTube. And even you and I are behind the times watching it on that. Right. Here's the thing. People are still watching videos. Right. People are still seeing music. 
it's just on a different platform. Right, right, right. Absolutely. And that's where you really have to go to put this stuff is follow the platform. Right, I know, I know. It's always what's the new cool platform. And most of the stuff today, the kids, uh, the younger people, the millennials, you want to... 